PDWs and Phantom Forces are like carbines. Due to the sheer amount of them, you're going to meet so many different types of people. Although as per usual with this series, every gun has one or more certain stereotypes, but before we get into those, I quickly need to go through that whole disclaimer thing again. These stereotypes do not apply to everyone. They have reasons for existing, but they're always exceptions. So for example, if I say the HK416 is exclusively used by tryhards, that doesn't mean that you necessarily are one, it just means that that's what people automatically assume about you when they see you using the HK416. Understand? Are we good? Okay, good. But with all this intro stuff out of the way, then let's get into it. So the MP5K has two polar opposite sides. First you have the new player. This guy just started playing Phantom Forces and has no idea what he's doing. Then you have the guy who uses the MP5K 10mm conversion, also known as the MP5K-10 guy. Commonly equipped with a folding grip, the MP5K-10 is a tryhard weapon for dudes on Bazaar, Metro and other close range maps. If they're on Metro, they're always going to be using the flank tunnel. This person overcommits all the time, but as long as he has ammo in his gun, he's going to get some pretty good feeds. His approach to combat is the same as the average shotgun user, except for the fact that he doesn't use a shotgun. Now the UMP is a bit similar to the MP5K. This person is either a new UMP45 user, or the UMP40 user. The UMP45 user is just your average new player, but the UMP40 user is a bit more advanced. This guy most likely uses long barrel and is just a generic mid rank tryhard. So to tell what type of person you're dealing with here is to look at this person's rank. If they are low rank then they probably don't know what they are doing and just use this because it's their newest unlock. But if you see a high rank using this then this guy can mean serious trouble. Seriously, high ranks who use the G36 are usually really good or at the very least have competent aim. Either way, this guy usually goes for 50 plus kill games every round so a good way to counter them is to make them salty which is usually easiest by using a shotgun. Because once you've got these people salty then they will start performing way worse. There are three types of people who use this. First you got the fresh meat who just unlocked the MP7 and will appear in the most inconvenient places at the worst times. Then there's the guy who uses this as a discount Chris Vector with the same playstyle as a regular tryhard. And lastly there's the guy using either of the Eotex, the Loudner, the Folding Grip and either Retract Stock or Extended Magazine alongside the MT911 with 9mm as well as the Crowbar who's just going full Half-Life 2 mode and messing around as discount Gordon Freeman. Hey John, I like the Mac 10. Mac 10, more like crap 10. Yeah. So this is either used by a low rank who just unlocked his gun and likes to throw on a suppressor for some reason, or a rank 100 with a civvy mag that always says the P90 is a direct upgrade to the MP7. MP5 users are genuinely kinda tryhardy. Like the people I've run into using this gun seem to be sweating a little bit more than the average player. Now you're most likely going to run into a mid rank using this, but if you see a high rank using this then just know that they mean serious business and plan on tearing your entire team to shreds. So there are three types of cold SMG users. First you have the 50 cal guy. This person is a 50 cal fanatic and most likely uses this alongside the 50 cal Glock conversion. Next up you have the 556 guy which is basically the M16A3 tryhard but on a different gun. This person is guaranteed using the long barrel alongside full stock and a sweat level similar to HK416 users. And lastly you have the future M231 user who uses the Colt SMG as a form of training or rather mental preparation for the M231 recoil while he's slowly saving up credits to buy the M231 itself. So there are two types of L2A3 users. The first one is the World War guy. This person is fascinated by old veteran guns and probably also is a big fan of other World War II shooters which is why he'll never shut up about his hype for Call of Roblox CS6. The next is the discount Beowulf guy. This person uses the .45 conversion and actively uses the server browser so you'll only see this guy on close range maps. So this person is either a honey badger tryhard mixed with an mp5 tryhard or a Strider fan who watched his stealth video and is trying out the stealthy playstyle.
Drone flashbang. This person is probably a World War first person shooter enthusiast and only ever uses veteran guns, which means as soon as Call of Roblox C6 comes out, then this guy will never play Phantom Forces again. Once again, a tryhard. Come to think of it, a lot of the guns in the MP family seem to be universally used by tryhards, and I'm honestly not sure why. I mean, don't get me wrong, the MP guns are pretty good, but it's strange that I only ever see tryhards using them, and not that many other types of people. So this guy is running a bit of a themed loadout. See, this guy is an Uzi fanboy, meaning he's going to be using the regular Uzi alongside the mini Uzi. Although he only brings out this loadout on close range maps, so he is a bit of a rare sight to see. AUG A3 para users are AUG fanboys. Basically, this person only uses AUG type weapons on all their loadouts like the AUG A1, A2, or A3, and the H bar, and swears on his life that the AUG family is the best gun family because of their versatility and low recoil. This person is a future Chris Vector user. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there may be some people out there who use this to counter the Chris Vector or whatever, but the majority of K7 users are just people who don't own the Chris Vector just yet. People who use the Krinkov are people who really like AK-type weapons. Similar to AUG A3 para users, this person only uses AK-type guns and is probably also listening to 10-hour USSR theme 24-7. Alright, so there are three types of people who use this. The first one is the rank 100 tryhard, who claims that this is a direct upgrade to the P90. Next up you have the Obrest Barrel hollow point guy. This person only ever plays on close range maps and most likely also stands their favorite Phantom Forces YouTuber. And last up you have the guy who used the whole melee walk speed PPSH set that Oscar made a video about some time ago. They most likely also use hollow point just to make their PPSH 3 shot like the previous set. The only exception is they use the 35 round mag instead of the drum mag. And well, speaking of stands, then this guy is 100% an Oscar stand. This guy only uses guns that Oscar uses to feel more close to Oscar? I, I don't know man, stands are weird. But as per usual with Phantom Forces YouTuber stands, the setup is going to be the exact same. So 110% of the time, this guy is going to be using the Reflex, Comp, Stubby, Extend Stock, and of course the Drum Mag conversion. Team, I'm attacking Hill. Man down, man down! Team, I've successfully recaptured the hill. This is Phantom 231, I'm grenading from right side, make sure to push on my go. Hill taken out, move, move, move! Target spotted on left side. Target taken out. Alright team, I'm flanking left side, make sure you cover right side. Go, go, go! Two enemies taken out. Alright team, I'm flanking hill, push, push, push! This is Phantom 231, I've been caught in close quarters combat. Team, I need backup on the hill now. Team! Team! Mission failed. We'll get him next time. No. Alright, so this is basically the most tryhardy version of the World War Shooter fan. Or maybe he just plays a lot of Call of Duty zombies. On the topic of tryhards, then this one is one of the more rare, but definitely one of the sweatiest PDWs in the game. Seriously, if you see a guy who uses this who hasn't just unlocked it, then just know they have reached sweat levels not yet comprehensible by the human species. This guy uses the 50 drum mag and likes the idea of portraying himself as some form of mafia boss. He's a big fan of the I, I forgive, forgive you, my son. son. But my, my Tommy, Tommy gun, though, quote, and will try to use it at basically every opportunity. Or they are me who created recoil that the M231 could only dream of. This person used to be a Zip Zip 22 memer with Pro Mag and Rat Shot, but now he uses this alongside his Zip for the ultimate funny gun loadout. And yeah, that's about it for this time. Next up is DMR, so if you have any stereotype suggestions, then make sure to join my Discord server, as I have a special chat there where you can suggest your own stereotypes for upcoming episodes. Also, remember that once this revamped series is finished, then the OG ones will be unlisted, so make sure to archive them while you can. And well, yeah, that's about all I got for you in this episode, so make sure to like and subscribe for more episodes, and turn on notifications to stay tuned for more. But until next time, peace.